You can find the pattern to make these slippers at queenbee.com. Now that you've completed the heel, it's time to start on the cuff. This is when you switch over to your double pointed needles to work in the round. If you want to change the color of the cuff, do so now. You will have two stitches on your needle left over from making the heel. Start picking up stitches along the edge of the slipper. There are little nubs evenly spaced along this edge. Pick up a stitch in each of these knotted nubs. There aren't enough nubs to pick up the number of stitches you need so you'll need to pick up stitches periodically between the nubs too. Space them as evenly as you can. I find that after every three or four nubs works well. It depends on the size you're making. Keep picking up stitches like this until you need to switch to another needle. I'll switch when there is 15 stitches on this needle. I find multiples of three on each needle work well for when we start the knit to purl one ribbing. what it will look like on the first needle. Continue on picking up stitches with your second needle. This is when you are going to use the stitch markers. Pick up a stitch where the marker is. On the other side of the slipper, pick up a stitch where this marker is. I used yarn to mark the stitches but you can use purchase stitch markers or even a bobby pin. Continue picking up stitches on this needle. Keeping in mind it's easier to work in multiples of three for making the cuff. What your second needle will look like. Pick up stitches on your third needle. When you're done, it will look a lot like this. I didn't notice when I was making it, but I dropped the two stitches of the sole. Don't let this happen to you. You will start with the two stitches from the heel but the process is the same to knit in the round. Bring the end of the third needle to the start of the first needle and knit. Knit 2, purl 1 as you regularly would. When you finish knitting on one needle, move to the next. It's the same as knitting flat on straight needles. Go to queenbee.com for the free pattern.